Hello, welcome to the program Political Viewpoint on ASO Radio. Sorry, on ASO Television. Of course, Political Viewpoint is a program that comes to you um, three times in a week at about this time where we look into national issues and discuss them. I have with me in the studio a friend who I know for some time who has been very much committed to the struggle of the people of Niger Delta to ensure that um, what is meant for them is given to them. And uh, he, be, he, has, he has ever appeared here, and today he has come again to talk more on this um, issue relating to amnesty program uh, under the purview of Dr. Dennis Otuaro. Uh, let me introduce my guest. We have Comrade Momos Wilberforce, Presidential National Delta, uh, Pre President, National Delta, Niger Delta Agitators. You are welcome to the studio of ASO Television. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, I'm so delighted having you all, and uh, because of your presence, I have been presenting this program both on radio and television, and that's why when I was taking off, I, I decided to mention radio, but of course we are on television, so I believe that those who are watching us know basically who my guest is, uh, Nigel Delta Agitators, he's a comrade, he has been one of these persons who have uh, been struggling for the welfare of people under Delta, and thank God we're beginning to see this effect taking place under the purview of Dennis, Dr. Dennis Utaro. So let me just find out from you, what are those reforms under this present leadership uh, of uh, the Niger Delta uh, region, under the leadership of the Dr. Dennis uh, uh, Utaro? Okay, the reforms, coming to your question, the reforms that we observe of recent, is about uh, some challenges that the people, the beneficiaries of the program were facing. For example, they were having serious problems concerning their BVN. Most persons have not been paid for over two years because of BVN issues. But as we speak, Dr. Dennis Otuaro is treating those issues as we speak. People are receiving their payment. People are receiving their payment co co correct right yes, now right. as we speak. Yeah. So people are... You, you, you mean in the time passed before the coming of Dr. Dennis Otuaro, uh, most of you in the Niger Delta never had the opportunity the way you're getting it? And we, we had the opportunity, but concerning this uh, Bivian issue I, I talked about yes. right now, the previous administrator stopped it based on the fact that if he found out that some persons has multiple accounts in the system, oh, okay. but they failed to do uh, some uh, findings concerning those multiple accounts, because some of those multiple accounts that were linked together were uh, those accounts belong to some people, uh, some leaders and their children, and some leaders and their uh, bro uh, uh, brothers. Mm. So they link those accounts beyond uh, the fact that the age difference when they open those accounts and all the rest. So the, uh, the previous administrator blocked those accounts that they have a double account in the system. Mm. But when this man came in, he saw those issues, those issues came up, he, he, he went uh, he deep down to find out the causes of those problems and he has been solving those problems for now. Mm. Then secondly, another thing that uh, another reform that we observe of late is the educational aspect of the program. Currently, there are uh, profiling names. In the next two weeks, we are expecting people to start uh, receiving messages for them to travel out of the country to, for schooling, for people to still receive messages for training in Nigeria yeah, and all the rest. So those are the reforms that we observe presently. Okay. You, you, yeah. you know, I asked you this question because you are, you are the Niger letter... Uh, 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 the, the president of the Delta agitators for good governance. For good governance. Are you saying at a point you were one of the agitators who were fighting for the liberation of the people of Niger Delta? Yes, sir. Because things that were supposed to be given to the weren't. Was it like that before? That was how it was before. Yes. But now you are beginning to see changes. Yes. But now we are seeing changes coupled to the fact that the president appointed this. Uh, uh, Dr. Dennis Otuaro, we are seeing changes, we are seeing hope, because the man is doing, uh, is going extra miles. For example, a, a, a health meeting with the women of Nanjareta, it has never uh, been so ever before this time, it has not happened before. He held meeting with them, gave them his word, promised them that they are going who to... Was, who was there before Dr. Dennis Otuaro? The person that left there before Dr. Dennis Otuaro is uh, Major Jimu. Uh, <coughs> okay. A retired a officer, a retired Miami. major general. Uh, so, what was? How was he? How, how did he run the 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 amnesty program? 
They run the amnesty program to a particular level. They run it to a point. That's, that, 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 that was why I said the, its administration, they stopped some, there are some things that took place that affected the beneficiaries of the program seriously, concerning mm. their BVN. Those issues were serious. But then, the man did his best. He put in his best. But this man... You, you mean there are, there, are, there are a certain amount of money given to every, every Niger Delta? Is that what you're saying? Yes, there are a certain amount of money that are From paid. the federal government? Not every Niger Delta. Okay. Every beneficiary of the program. And who are these ones that are considered to be beneficiaries? These ones are the ones that lay down their arms. During okay. The, yes. They are now communicating. Yes, these oh. ones are the ones that lay down their arms and embrace... Embrace peace. The peace embrace the, uh, uh, the presidential amnesty uh, program. Yes. The amnesty that the pres uh, federal government granted, the 30,000 that embrace it are the uh, beneficiaries. But then, this present administrator... Yeah, before you talk about present administrat administrator, <coughs> talk about De Dr. Dennis Utaro. Yeah. How many, how many do you think you are or you were uh, when, you, when, you, when you lay down your arms and embrace uh, good governance? Right. That is what I'm saying. We are at 30,000 in number. Okay. Yes, we are 30,000 in number. But as it stands now, Dr. Dennis Otuaro, he has made arrangements on how to bring in more persons. As a matter of fact, with the last information that we gathered so far, he said the president, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has agreed and approved for him to bring in more persons as time goes based on what he has proposed. He has proposed to the president, and the president has seen reason to work with him for mm -hmm. him to bring in more persons. Because they will not want a situation whereby, he will not want a situation whereby people need to carry arms before they will get them involved. Okay. So he is creating that avenue. Okay. That's why I said he has done something that no administrator has ever done. Okay. He held meeting with over a thousand Nigeria women, cut, to, uh, cut across the nine states. He held meeting with them. He gave them his word. He, he has discussed to learn with them on how to carry them along, on how to get them involved in the program, in order to sustain the peace mm. that we are enjoying okay. today. So, talking about this BVN of a thing, explain further. Before before Dr. Dennis Otaro could come up, um, you, 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 were, you were trying to explain that the the linkage between the individual and the and the BVN number was a problem. But as he came, or like the way he is today, he has, you know, he has straightened that aspect. Yes. Okay, can you explain further on that? Yes, before he came, some persons, like I said earlier, some persons, some leaders, they have their children, they have their brothers that are in the program, that are among the 30,000 better. They ought not to have been members. No. They have, because they, they um, I, I need to, I don't know how to explain it for you to get clear understanding. Right. But then, let me just make it short. Leaders ex-agitators, they are their brothers and their children oh, okay. that are involved in the program. So, for that reason, they got them involved, they open account for them. There's some of them, we're not having BVN. Why some have BVN? So some persons link their BVN to other BVN, to the uh, BVN of their children, why some do not have BVN at all? So when the, the previous administrator came in, uh, in Zomo came in, he stopped those uh, accounts that were having those BVN issues. He stopped them without paying them for over two years. So when this man came in, Dr. Dennis Otuari came in, the complaints and the reports concerning this BVN came in, he set up his uh, committee his com his committee to look into the BVN issues and right now he's trashing those issues. Mm. So the people with BVN issues, the ones that does not have BVN, They've uh, uh, they've got to their bank. They fix, they fi they fix the issues concerning their BVN. Mm. So now they are receiving their stipends, and some other persons have, are still having the same BVN issue, but they are hoping to receive their their stipends okay. as time goes. Okay. Yes. When did you come up with this initiative, uh, Doctor Dennis? When did you come up with this initiative, realizing the fact that some of you who had issues with the BVN never had the opportunity of assessing their stipends? For closely about one or two years. Now that he's, he's on board, he's working on that. How, how many months did you come up with, with this initiative to an extent that you now say this problem is being straightened? Yes, like. Is it up to two, three months? And since he came in, he has spent like um, 
let me say five, five to six months. Okay. As soon as he came in, he now. As soon as he came in, yeah. those complaints came to his table. The issues that people were, people are facing concerning the program came to his table. He looked at them, so he started treating them one after the other. He starts with these BVN uh, issues. Mm. He starts treating the BVN issues. Once you come with your case, if they verify that okay, they've not been paying you and you have this issue. You will treat it accordingly, according to the problems. That is what he has been doing since he came in. They are treating the issues of the BVN according, according. to the problems. Okay. The ones that does not have BVN in the past, that they have, they, they've managed to get their BVN correctly, they are paying them. Okay. The ones with the, that link that their BVN with the ones to their children, that is, they've separated them, they are paying them okay. also. Okay. So others are still expecting their uh, payment to start coming. And then he's equally expanding more. Now, it's now expanding. It's, it, it wants to expand the program, and that is the beauty of the program. It's, it's intention and what he has proposed to the people, to the presidents. He has proposed to the president for, for expansion. And he said the president bought the idea. So it's a very good one mm -hmm. for the people of Nanya Data. Mm -hmm. With that, people will not think of carrying arms before they will start benefiting from the program. Mm -hmm. People will be rest assured that uh, the the government is listening to their complaints. So people have that belief that the government, they are listening to their complaints. So, 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 so this, this expansion, does it include all gender, both male and female, or only specifically dealing with boys? No, that's why I said the man has done uh, marvelously perfect by getting those women involved. He had meeting with the women, and he has promised to get them involved. So it's not uh, it's not about the boys alone or the men alone. It's about the men and the women. So, so many persons will benefit from the program. People will go to school for, because of this same program. People will benefit a lot, including uh, the agricultural uh, pr programs that they are trying to put in place. People will benefit a lot with this program. Yes, because, because I was to ask you, now that we, are, we have just talked about, you know, making sure that the stipends get to everybody that's supposed to get that stipend, Besides the, without, without working on the BVN, what another uh, issue is he dealing with now? And you were talking about education. Yes. The issues that he's dealing with, they are numerous. People need to go for training. People need to go for empowerment. People need to go for this educational sc uh, scholarship that we are talking about. Mm. The process of the educa educational has been uh, trash. What is remaining is deployment. The process of the educational administration, uh, the, uh, the those who are seeking to go to for, go for, uh, for, for well, education, yeah, education, yeah, for the education that has applied. Yes, about twenty-five thousand persons applied, but they want to start gradually by involving about six hundred persons for the start. So that process has been concluded. They are now collecting. Uh, they are selecting the people based on their performance. Their performance based on what they score in their jam and all the rest. Okay. Yes. Is, is it outside the country as well or just universities or schools that are within? People, people are doing their masters outside the country while some are doing their programs and masters in this same country. Hmm. Yes. And there are many? There are plenty. I've said about 600 persons. And it's, people are, he is, people are uh, demanding for more. So he is proposing to the government to put in more funds hmm. so that he can expand it by involving more persons on the aspect of the uh, educational scholarship. Mm. Yes, that is what is on ground right now as we speak. So, so, so looking at the entire procedure, some of these uh, programs um, Dr. Otayaro is ach really achieving, can you paint the picture of how Niger Delta looks, now, look, looks like now under his uh, leadership? Right now, what yeah. is the, um, right now, based on what the discussions that Otayaro as uh, based on the discussion I has gotten with the people of the region, the hope, the information about the plans of the president concerning the people of Nanjareta, based on this information that he has passed around the Nanjareta, the people of the region are now expecting, they are open, they have assurance that, okay, it's like good things are coming our ways. So that expectation is there. We are waiting, people are waiting, people are expecting, based on the information that Dr. Dennis Otuaro has dropped mm. in the region. So that, that's hope. That is hope. Now, among high, your people. Yes, high expectation. People are hopeful. People have the assurance. Because in the past, 
it's difficult for you to see an administrator that will go down to the region to meet with women. Mm. It's one of a kind. It has not happened before. So the hope is there. He has met with our royal fathers from the region. He has given them his words. Were these women too agitators? Some they of them? Are, they are not agitators. Most mm -hmm. of them are, are mothers. Mothers. They face the challenges then when the crisis was on. So, based on the fact that Otuaro is among the people that struggled, so you know the pains. That's why as he came in, he decided to reach out to these women to give them the hope that despite the fact that they are women, they should have the assurance that they will, he will get them involved. Mm. That he has even discussed with Mr. President to expand the program. Mm. That is one area that we are happy about uh, what uh, Dr. Dennis Otuaro said mm. concerning the president. How, how do you select, like, how, how does he select people who benefit into the new scheme that they have, like women who, who he just want to ensure that he extends the hands of fellowship to them? How does he select? Uh, is it like he will just go to a family and pick, or there are a certain group of people who help him in, set, in doing the selection for those who are supposed to benefit some of these programs? Yes, the way they, the way they will do it, because everybody uh, came from a community, one community or the, or the other. other. Yes, and we have uh, youth leaders, we have royal fathers, we have kings and chiefs. So when, when he wants to start this process, he's going to contact from the uh, kings and the chiefs downward to communicate with them, for them to discuss with their people, bring the names of their words mm. of their people from the community. Okay. Yes, that is the process that we believe that he wants to take. He's going to reach out to the leaders of the program. He's going to reach out to the uh, women leaders. He's going to reach out to the kings and the youth leaders okay. in order to get these numbers. Because you cannot start selecting people from the streets of the region. You need to reach out to the people. How many states? We have nine states in the Niger Delta. How many? Nine states. Nine states. Yes, in the Niger And he, he, he's the one that looks after the nine states on this particular amnesty program. Yes. Okay. Uh, does he include even the Yorubas there? Yes, the people that are from Undo states okay. are included. Okay. Because we have people that are from... Um, Arubo, we have the people that are from Ilaje in the part of that part of uh, Nigeria, the Yondo state. Mm. All those people are included. Okay. All of them are included. Is it possible that some of you who have decided to lay down arms and embrace peace, embrace this amnesty program, is it possible that you have, you have people within you or even outside you or leaders within the region not so much happy with Dennis Utara? Do you have a position? Yes, we have so many persons that are, so many persons that are, I, I don't know how to what? put it, I don't know the right word to use. I don't know if I'll say that are envious or that are not happy for the fact that Dennis Otuaro is the one that is uh, holding this office or that is the uh, coordinator of this office. So many persons are there because so many persons are complaining unnecessarily concerning the program, concerning the, uh, uh, the, the uh, Dr. Dennis Sutra, of which people are seeing all those things. Those things are flimsy things that they are doing because you cannot be complaining about a man that is proposing to do more things, to involve more people in the program. We've not gotten that opportunity for over the years, over 15 years. We've not gotten that opportunity where an administrator will come start and start telling the people or, or telling the people, giving the people the assurance that uh, they will include more persons in the program. Now, while the person that is saying all those things and people are come up, coming up with issues that are baseless, those things are normal things for us in the society. People will definitely complain. You, you mean, as you speak, there are some people who are not happy with his own administration? There are some people that are not happy. Okay. Yes, there are Who, some people that are complaining. Are they members? Are they members, they are of, the members of the program? Yes, they are members and are recognized members of the program, but they are not happy. Why? They, because they believe that they are person need to man the office. Or is it selecting those who are supposed to benefit? It's not selecting anybody that's supposed to benefit. It's mm. not selecting. Why, why would they be angry? They want is, to. Is it a normal thing with a human being? It's a normal thing with humans, because some people strongly believe that. As far as this program is concerned, they are the ones that are supposed to benefit more than others. 
So when they are seeing, when they are observing that those privileges are not given to them the way they expect, they will start bringing up issues that are meaningless, that will not benefit the generality of the people of Nanjareta. So people are there. People are doing all those things. But we are looking at them. If you are disrespecting a leader that is uh, piloting the affairs of the program, for now, you should be expecting people to disrespect you. You should be expecting people to go against the things that you are doing. Mm. Because all we expect from the people of Nayata is to support in any way, to make things change for better for the people of Nigeria. I thought you people have suffered enough. And so whoever that comes on board like the way Dr. Dennis Otero, I don't know much about who, who were there, those who were there. I don't know what they were doing. But I had the opportunity, I was interviewing you for some time, that you are telling me more of this Dennis Otero. Does it like there are people are so familiar to suffering that even if when good things are coming, they will be rejecting them? It's not that they are familiar to suffering. The people that are doing these things are selfish people that wants to control the system. Okay. They are, it's not that they are suffering. They are not thinking about the other persons that are involved in the program. Mm. All they are thinking of is their own. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Because for a program like this, that we have 30,000 persons, and for over 15 years, nobody has talked about bringing in more persons, discussing on how to increase the budget of the program, discussing those kind of issues with the president, and the Dr. Dennis Otwaro is telling us that the president has listened, that the president is going to said he's going to do something about it. When somebody is having those kind of plans to get more pe persons involved, then one man, based on his own selfish reasoning we want to complain about the man for the government to remove the man that is nonsense that is stupidness okay yes on the side the, of that person yeah the way you are sounding that as if this particular question i asked you have much to say about yes it. i have much to say let me ask you this question before dennis could come to power or to become the administrator these people who are not happy with dennis were they doing that to some other administrators before Dennis could come that the way he is? The immediate past and other ones that had ever been there before now. Yes, they are doing all those things because if the administrator... Did they fight the immediate past yeah, administrator? That's what, that is what I want to explain. If, for example, they bring in a new administrator and they find their way in to collect more things from the system, yeah. if the administrator work according to their plans okay, according they will, to they will be they silent will just, oh, they will okay. be silent okay, okay. they will be benefiting from the system yes they then those who are supposed to benefit will not be benefiting much persons will not be benefiting okay so since the new man now is trying to make sure that it brings out everything for the people it's affecting them okay so they will be complaining they will be bringing out different different issues but then the region the nanyaita region nobody is an island nobody is stronger than nobody so all those ones that they are doing, they are just doing it. People are seeing, they are watching. We know that they are doing it based on their selfish interests, not because of the people. So, so, so those who are benefiting, why are they not coming out like the way you are to talk? People are coming out to talk. People are say, saying things. This will not be my, the, the last time mm. that I will talk. I've not, I've not really spoken anything concerning this very issue that we are talking about, this very one that we are deliberating about. Mm. Because we are watching the step that they are taking. Mm. And we are giving us time. We are observing their moves to know if they will see say more things or they will utter more words that will trigger more tension in the Nigeria region. That is when we come out openly to counter them, to tell them that nobody is an island and people are watching them. They are disrespecting them. We know them, them. We know them okay. by their names. Okay. We know them. They are from the same area. Are there many? Are there many or there are few they in are number? few. But they are very strong. They are strong in their own area. Because in Nigeria, everybody is tight. They are strong in their own area. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yes. How long has Dennis been in this office and is facing these challenges? 
He's not facing much challenges. Uh, you know, as much as there are some people who are not so much interested in seeing what he's doing, just, and they want to ensure that he stops what he's doing, or probably to remove him on assumption. Yes. Uh, so has, how long has he been there, and they're feeling uncomfortable? Just six months. You mean just six just months? Just six to seven months. In office? Yes, in office, and are, they, are, they are finding it... And he was appointed by the president? By the president. And they are finding it difficult to accept it the way it is. Because their intention was to take charge of the office the way they've been doing in the past. Take charge, collect all the jobs in the office, give yourself the jobs, collect all the contracts, continue to benefit the, 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 the total benefit of the system, benefit it to, to, to yourself, give yourself all the benefits. They want to continue in that way. They don't want other people to grow. They don't want the younger ones to grow. They don't want people to see the lights. They don't want people to benefit. They want to get everything to themselves. And people are looking at them. Mm. People are watching. More especially the people that have not benefited much from the system. We are, we are watching at them. That's why the fact that they've benefited everything, they are still making noise, causing problems concerning this program. Passing, mis, uh, mis, 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 misinforming uh, the, the general public about, uh, about uh, Dr. Dennis Otwaro. People are watching. You are watching. Has, has President said anything at all, or Presidency, let me be precise. Has President said anything at all regards to this, in looking at the way they are like not too comfortable with him? The President is facing similar situation. So the President, I don't think the President has anything to talk concerning that aspect. Mm. He knows about the operations and the way and manner people operate. So you mean just in, just in six months, he has been able to solve the problem of this BVN of a thing and equally arranging for us, for those of you who are interested to go to university for the tertiary education, you know, he's able to meet up in just six months, you mean? In the period of these six months, he came, he inherited, he, he inherited these problems of the BVN because the previous, because the previous administrator, I don't think the, the man sent anybody to school. He came in, he has programmed on how to send people to school. They've provided people, they've done so many things concerning uh, that aspect. They, they, pay, they are paying people that are having BVN issues for the period of these six months. And in the next two to three months, we are still expecting people to go for their empowerment mm. and people to still go for their, for their vocational training. Mm. Just, just in this period, in this before, before, before Dennis could come, up, come on board like the way he is, the, the educational aspect was not being taken care of by the previous administration, you mean? The man that just left office did not deploy anybody to school. And it was one of the aspects that he's supposed to have done. Those right? are the duties of the administrators to train people, to send people for scholarship, to send people for empowerment, to take charge of things that will not cause crisis in the Nanja letter. That is the singular reason why they... When you talk about empowerment, what, 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 what are those things you are referring to? Like giving you money to set up business like Yela, you know, find a car. No. Or what, what, what do you mean by, by empowerment? By setting up business for you, giving you opportunity for you to go for, uh, for you to go for uh, more trainings and seeking for more ideas. Training in which aspect of life? Agricultural training okay. and empowerment, vocational training and empowerment, then the direct empowerment. After those training, they will not get you involved, finance any project that you want to embark on, or any business that you want to embark on, they will finance it. Those are the purpose and the singular reason why this program was set up. So if the previous administrator failed to meet up some certain things, rather <coughs> block people that were receiving their salary, including yeah. people that, that, that has only one account in, in the presidential amnesty uh, program. They block their, their, their salary. For two years and Dr. Dennis <coughs> Otoa is treating those issues. Okay. Looking, looking at you, one can easily conclude, that's just an assumption, that you were an agitator, weren't you? Yes. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been their president. Can you tell us the picture? What you were and what you are today under the leadership of uh, Dennis. Did, did you ever enjoy like the way you are enjoying now? Or is it that like you enjoy and you are not enjoying now? 
<laughs> for now we, we will say we are enjoying. Okay. For now we are enjoying. In the past, you cannot compare. Definitely will grow. You cannot compare the past one year to this moment mm. because we are making uh, we are advance in progress. Mm. So, on that aspect, I would say we are growing, and our expectations are high. No, no I'm, I'm talking to you, but in fact, that is what yes, I'm telling. Yes. I'm telling you about my expectation is very high. Okay. How what do you wear? What do you wear when the other man that was there before then is? The other man did not do anything for me. The other man did not do anything. But what interest did you have in life to become? I, what What are you now? Like I said, I, I went for a, a vocational training. Kasawa uh, processing. Kasawa processing. Okay, that was your interest. Yes. After my training, the expectation of the system or my expectation was that the office will empower me. And they didn't? They did not. We applied, we applied several, in se several ways. We applied, we, we, we discussed with the system, we meet with the office, we, we, we asked them to empower us, they refused. How many, how many of you that received this kind of training in the area of cassava and agriculture? In, in, in the time pass, in, in yeah, time pass yeah. I cannot mention. But you were many. There are many. And, and by the time the training con was concluded, when you came back, you were not empowered by a financial result. Yes. I expect them to so set what, up. What were you doing then? You were like, you want to mobilize to go back to the creeks? No. How would I mobilize back to the creek? You didn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm, only, I'm only being curious. I'm only trying to be curious about. I will not mobilize back to no, the creeks. No, I'm only trying I to. I would rather follow up the movement mm. by exercising patience, write my letters to the office, or take my letter to the office, put in my proposal by informing them that I'm due for empowerment, I want to go and establish myself on the aspect of agriculture, cassava. Mm. Yes, so that is what I'm doing right now. Okay, no, right uh, is that what you're doing right now? Right now. This, this benefit of doing it right now, was it before or is it because that then is there? I've been doing it before. Even when now, on, your, on your own, as an individual, in your own capacity. As an individual, yes. I'm, after my training, yes. I wrote to the office. But you said you are not funded. You are funded. That is what I'm trying to explain. I wrote to the office after my training that they need to fund me. They need to empower me so that I will embark on my cassava business. But up to now, they've not. But as I speak with you, they've given me a call that I'm due for the empowerment. In, this, I, in, this, in, this, in this administration? administration. Yes. And they said, I'm among the persons that they want to empower. Is that not a good one? It is. The office called that my name is among the persons that they want to empower. Official have been writing a series of letters the office, the previous administration, mm. administration. Mm. they refuse. But now they've called me that they want to empower me. Mm. That I'm due for empowerment. So in less than a month now, I'll be expecting the office to establish, establish me, invest in me, and they will give me the opportunity for me to employ people. Oh, that's, I, I say, yeah, by the time if you are empowered, are you, are you looking towards that direction that you equally train others? Or is it... Is it everything that it's only the, the, the amnesty program will be doing, even if though they have empowered you, those ones that you want to employ to work with you still be under the, the responsibility it of the It must not be under the responsibility of the presidential amnesty. Okay, it you can equally be. take charge yes, of that because, aspect. Yes, if I set up my farm, for example, yes. I need to employ people that will do the work from day one to the sixth form. For the first three months, I will employ people that will be working for me continuously. I cannot do it alone. Okay. Yes. Okay. I need to employ people that will be doing those jobs. Imagine the chain. They empower me. I'll be able to employ like 30 persons that will be working for me. I'll be paying them, getting them involved. Mm. Those are the things that we are, we've been clamoring for. No wonder you're so happy about I'm Dr. very, Dennis. very happy. Yes, very extremely happy. About Dennis. Yes. So, what are, what are those things you will expect him to do so that he will look totally different? Though you have actually given us the lowdown on many things and the way the, those who are outside the system are really fighting him to ensure that he should not execute some of those things or either to remove him and then take over.
So what what will you tell tell those who are doing that? And they tell Dennis what he needs, he needs to do going forward. And to some of you who are involved in or either benefiting from this amnesty uh, program. Okay. What I want him to do is for him to keep to his words. He should make sure he maintains his lane. Rather, I will want the president to support Dr. Dennis Otuaro by giving him more funds in order for him to achieve his aim. Because without more funding, with the present economic challenges that we are facing, without more funding, Dr. Dennis Otuaro will hardly achieve those plans. So we call on the president to support him financially to increase the budget so that the people of the region will feel the impact of this government. Because without that, Dr. Dennis Otuaro will not be able to do more. The only thing that will make Dr. Dennis Otuaro succeed right now is funds. Because if you're planning to carry 5,000 persons to the university, you need more funding. If you want to train 10,000 people on vocational training, you need more funds. And the people of Nigeria, they need all these things. They need all these things. The president needs to know all these things. Because the presidential message of a program is, is, is the program that is taking charge of so many responsibilities, including the, uh, the NDDC. So they should fund it. They should fund it. The president should fund it with all seriousness. By the grace of God, Dr. Dennis Utwari said he has discussed with the president. Yeah, and the president has given him the assurance. Uh -huh. Because I was asking you, has he ever met a term? Because he's wanted to appoint someone, and then another for him to really meet up with the tax ahead of him. I was about asking him before, he said, whether he has been able to meet with the president and ask for more funding. Or he's just maybe enjoying the, the AC of the office and totally ignore that aspect. No, he has met with the president, according to information. Yes, you received. Yes, according to information that the president has listened to the cry. According to the information, that the president has listened to the cry of the people. So for that reason, the president has given the assurance that he is going to do something about it. He's going to increase the funds. Mm. So right now, we are urging the president, based on the present economic situation, he should do something in order to have peace in the Nigeria region. Because that is where everything is coming out from. So if the, if the, if the, if the triple defense is not much, the president should do something about that. It's necessary as any other thing. Assuming I were to be a Niger Delta, how much do you think I would have received? As in how? I don't know. Like the, the stipends now, the, this linkage of the... The, the stipends, based on what they are paying people, that is what they will be paying. Mm -hmm. They are paying everybody. Mm -hmm. They will not give you any more than more necessary. than, yes, more than the other. It's, it's, a, it's a flat rate it's a flat kind of rate. <coughs> so people are proposing for them to increase it increase up it. to two hundred thousand or one fifty thousand uh, okay per month for every person yes to meet up this present economic yeah, situation yeah that's what people are pro uh, proposing and that's what we are expecting from the system mm. But people often say, because if you are just sitting down and receiving money, it make, makes most of you to be lazy. Isn't lazy? Yeah, yeah, is I'm, lazy. Only, I'm only trying to, I'm speaking the minds of those. We don't only need those their, uh, funds, those are 65,000. Uh, rather, they should do the needful. If you create the enabling environment in the Nigeria region, nobody wants to have any time to do 65,000. Uh, hmm. If you make things available where people will, will invest, where people will work, where people will establish themselves, nobody will have time for 65,000 naira. People need to earn more. People need to work. People need to go into farming to earn. We have land everywhere. Mm. We have land in river states. We have in those states, in Edo states, Delta states. We have land everywhere. Cross river, is it? We yeah. have land in cross river state. Massive land in cross river state. Acquire bond as well. Acquire bond, they have land. Where people can invest in agriculture, serious agriculture. 
want to go into full-time agriculture mm. and the people are willing the people of the region are willing we are willing to go into full-time agriculture because we have the land so we are expecting the government to do the needful by putting force because if they fail to do all those things the people will cry out And Dr. Dennis Otwaro said he, he liked or he wants a situation whereby our people will not be suffering. Our people will, 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 will have everything in their disposal. That is what he said. And the people of Nigeria, we are looking up to him. We are expecting those things to come to play. We know that if the president <laughs> invests more, more, more funds, it will not be a hidden thing. Exactly. People will see it, the man will start activating so our expectations so, are so so, so, high. so just those things you have so far achieved you're just barely doing them because no more not much money there in the post for him to carry out some of those uh, programs the programs that is uh, uh, like education and all that that's why of that's why, agriculture that's why the number uh, of persons that he is proposing that dr dennis Otwari is proposing for now is less about okay. 600 yeah. it's not much so that's all that he can meet up yes. with some of so now according to the information if they bring more funds he is ready to deploy 5,000 persons wow well, yes that's, that's great he's ready to deploy 5,000 persons on the aspect of education alone We're alone so because of time factor can you make an appeal to those who are not to, so much happy with him and they're fighting the system yes because I believe you know what's actually going on. Briefly, because of time factor. Yes, we will appeal to them for them to change their ways. Yes, yeah. Because if you're fighting a system that everybody, that the people of Nigeria are open on, and you're fighting the system, you want the government to change him, or you want the government to, you're, you're bringing confusion everywhere, you're dragging us back. And the people of Nigeria will not take it. We expect them to propose reasonable things to the government that will bring uh, that will change the lives of the people of Nigeria. So we are advising them for them to change their, 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 their formula, for them to change their ways. Rather, they should talk to the government, they should use those their voice to speak to the government, to increase the budget of the, uh, uh, of the, of the presidential amnesty program, so that the people of Nigeria will benefit more from the program. Okay. Those are my advice. Hmm. That are for them. Okay. And also advise uh, our, uh, our coordinator not to concentrate on those issues. He should rather move ahead with his plans and programs and policies that he has laid down because the expectation of the people of Danyareta is higher than what we can imagine. It's very, very high coupled to the fact that he has promised. So we are appealing to him to kickstart the process as fast as possible. You, you know, we've been speaking without really showing the picture or some of those things um, you are mentioning. I just hope one particular time you will get, we reel out, you know, some of the programs Dr. Dennis has so far achieved and what Niger Data as a region expects to get going forward or the things he thinks he can achieve if he has enough funding. Uh, at the end of the day, I believe he's going to be there for a while, yeah. and he needs money. Yeah. And I believe he has, he has succeeded in achieving some aspects. There must be a, there must be some pictures or visual or footage to at the background to show what he's doing, so that people will believe what we are saying. Yes. I guess that one will happen. That one will happen very very soon. Okay. Like I said earlier, okay. it's a process. Okay. That uh, people they will deploy people very soon. Okay. So as soon as they deploy people, this one will be among his records. Oh, okay. That the BVN issues are issues that were created by the previous administrator. So those ones is handling them based on his capacity. That's all right. Yes. That's all right. So the programs that he is planning to roll out will be the things that people will be circulating all over the. Uh, we, we, we just region. hope we just hope that um, the agitators will not go back to the creeks again to really fight the system. I believe that will not happen. It will not happen based on the plans and, uh, the plans that he has for them. Okay. He has discussed to length with the people of Nigeria. Right. And thank God, get them involved. thank God this administration, you know, is really standing by to support the program. And I believe 
the Tinu administration will succeed in giving you what you people need. I believe so. Yes, we believe so. It's obvious that we are all facing the present challenges that is everywhere. We are all facing it, but we believe in the system that uh, President Tinubu will make a difference. All right. Well, that's about the size of the program. Um, Comrade Momos Wilberforce, uh, President Nigel Data Ayetas, I appreciate, oh, good appreciate governance. And good governance. I thank you for coming. Thank you very much, sir. Well, as the size of the program, I had in the studio Comrade Momos Wilberforce, President, President Nigel Data Ayetas, and good governance talking to us on how the program is faring under the purview of the coordinator, Dr. Dennis Utaro. I thank you so much for taking time to be with us on this program. We shall be doing that again next week. My name again is Topsy Gimba. News will be coming your way at about 7 o'clock. Stay tuned. We are out of the studio and bye-bye.